Today there's things disappearing That I worked for all my life I dread having to start again But the women and children on that border that are trying to seek refuge and seek opportunity in the United States of America with nothing but the shirt on their backs are acting more American than any person who seeks to keep them out ever will. The United will. States is running concentration camps on our southern border. AOC, look at me. My name is David Tuck. My name is Sammy Steigman. I am a Holocaust survivor. I'm a Holocaust survivor. I was a poor concentration camp. We have no concentration camps here. This is just a political comment. I went through it. How can you, looking at my face, telling me, that the camps that we have in the South are concentration camps. What you are doing, you are insulting every victim of the Holocaust. Shame on you. The ignorance of Ocasio-Cortez is absolutely unbelievable. Concentration camps, where my mother went with her mother and her sisters and brothers and family, my mother's mother went straight to the gas chamber in the concentration camp. Members of her family were tortured, worked to death. The brutality of what never again and concentration camps are all about. The audacity, the chutzpah, the ignorance of Ocasio-Cortez to mention never again concentration camps when we're talking about immigrants coming into this country. My God! How many immigrants have been gassed? How many immigrants have been worked to death? How many immigrants have been experimented on by doctors? They need to go back to school, Ocasio-Cortez. That's where you belong. How dare you invoke, how dare you invoke concentration camps and never again? We understand when you say concentration camps and never again that you are referring to the Holocaust, to the murder of six million men, women, and children, Probably children that were murdered. She's looking up for herself. There must be a purpose, a reason. Why would she say it? She wants to be popular. It can't be popular, but annihilating other people. Don't talk to me about concentration camps. I was the first camp was Postman Stadium. And then I went to Auschwitz. Then I went to Mauthausen. Then I went to Guz. From every 10 Jews, nine were killed. I was lucky. I still have the number in my arm. Nobody can deny that the Holocaust never happened to me. Uh, I'm not only a Holocaust survivor, I was in a labor camp. Uh, what happened is I was subjected to medical experiments, and later on, a German woman saved my life when came a stage that I was dying of starvation. Think about it. When I lived in Bretton Woods, I wake up in the morning and I said, please God, let me see the light the next day. When I heard that we are free, and I looked up in the sky and said, tell me, where can I go? And I can't tell you. I knew what it does to people. And by doing that, it took away my incentive to be the best that I can be. I achieved that goal here in the United States. I'm finished with those words, America. Send the kids to school. Make sure they have education. It's still the best country in the world. Enjoy life. We have no concentration camps here. God bless you all. Thank you. Talk a little bit about that. We have Miguel Hernandez who's going to be running 
of the 14th Congressional District against the famous AOC Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Henry B. Joan here, the reporter, conservative reporter here in New York City, but also candidate for the 13th Congressional District. We're gonna have a few words and letting them know that we're here united for the Israeli Day Parade, but we're also honored to be here with Sammy. Sammy, you wanna say a few words and tell us how do you feel being here with us, being here in the great Israeli Day Parade? It's a wonderful survivor, okay, it's a Jew, as an Israeli, as somebody who served in the Israeli Air Force, I am extremely honored, and um, this is a great day for me and for all the Jews. Honored, we're honored to be here. How are you doing? My name is Henry Gajon, and I'm known as Henry Live, a conservative reporter, but I'm also a congressional candidate. I have another congressional candidate here. stars for trying to bring our greatness back today cause the flag used to stand for freedom and now they're trying to take that away we're gonna make America great again